Call it a disappointment, call it a learning experience. Colorado is choosing to call it a milestone. Their first NCAA tournament berth in nine years may have ended after 40 minutes, but the Buffs are leaving Iowa City with their heads held high. I'd like to start with um, just how proud I am of our ball club, um, not just today, but every day. You know, I, I, I love what we've been able to do. I love the heart that we had since July, honestly. and just the fighting will to do something that we said we were going to do, and we actually did it, so you can't be more uh, happy than that. For Hollingshed and the rest of the seniors, they're walking away, leaving a legacy that will never be forgotten. They've been here for so long when it, when it, wasn't, looking, when it wasn't looking good, so um, yeah, I'm just really thankful that our seniors were able to set a foundation and set a standard. Their impact will be felt years from now. You know, freshmen will come to Colorado and they will know about those four, you know, their work ethic and their and their loyalty and their dedication uh, to making something special happen at CU. Imagine these banners above me are the gold and black ones hanging in the CU Event Center. After the game, J.R. Payne dreamt for a moment and said that her team will never be denied their legacy. 2022 was a good year. From Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City, Ariel Orsudo, 9 News.